Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to more Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Jesus Christ. Where do we leave off? Alright. So. Let's go ahead and just enjoy this game some more. A lot of reviews coming out for this game. Uh, overwhelmingly positive. I mean, the production value alone makes it so this game could... There's no way it could get under an 8. Um, and just the Call of Duty as a series has always been uh, top-notch. Uh, I guess we're not going this way. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah. And a couple of the reviews I've seen do make kind of similar points to that I'm making about the uh, the campaign and a little bit about the multiplayer. Huh. Morning, gents. They're watching football. Six A, bro. All right. Bravo six, this is Sierra one. Two hostiles on the top floor of your building, taking the shot. Send them. Out of the room. Secure teams. Go. All right. So this looks like this is going to be kind of a hold this position and shoot all the bad guys. Oh no! Never mind. So jump down. Oh, nice. Ooh, don't kill Miller. He's a good guy. Hmm. Bad guy. You know what I'm kind of disappointed with? The fact that when our teammates die, there's no um, some kind of AI script for other teammates to come see if they're still like barely alive. I'll be right back. And we're back. Yeah, I'm playing campaign. No, 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 nobody dies. Holy shit. What? Nobody. I'm killing my teammates. Oh my god. Good guy. Don't shoot him. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, let's do this. Enjoy the campaign for sure at this point. Oh. 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 That guy? No, that's a good guy. I just killed my good guy. Oh, I'm doing that left and right. Actually, really bad. I think I've killed more of my teammates than the AI has. And we're back. Again. Oh, that's great. Oh, he's not dead. He had a grenade just fall on him.
No, I personally think that the campaign is probably best played in like one continuous play or two continuous plays. Because you really get that sense of movement and locale changes and yeah. But apparently, yeah, I'm not the only one who's slightly confused by the motivations of the story. Or the story in general is kind of hard to follow. But that's not where you play Call of Duty, really. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Bring it home. Take it. Back to the tube, eh? The YouTube? Oh. I love all the. I guess it's Irish and British accents. I don't think there's any Scottish accents, but. In the truck. I'm in the truck. I'm Burns. I think that's me. We're gonna go on the rails? Power on the frickin' rails. Oh, these are made. These. Holy shit, missed that. We're, uh. On a. Wow, this is pretty darn cool. This is pretty cool. Wow, civilians. Don't shoot me back. Don't shoot the humans. The yeah, human civilians. This is... Whoa, that was pretty sick. Is the Russians? Ah. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh shit. Oh. That's a good thing I saved. Six. Come in. Bravo 6, do you copy? Burns. <coughs> you alright? Bravo 6, what's your status? The train's down in under Westminster. Those bastards were using it for transport. Be advised, the trucks are headed in your direction. Get topside an RV with Bravo 2. Copy. Come on, Burns. It looks like it's just us now. Come on. We got this. One of the moving coffee ads. What the heck? Oh. Trying to figure out that ad was a bad idea. What does that say deeper? <laughs> Die trying to look at it. Damn it. Bravo six, come in. Bravo six, do you copy? Burns. <coughs> you alright? 
Right, let's do this, I guess, a little better this time. I love how the audio slightly goes into a deeper tone because of the fact that Burns is a little bit, uh, a little bit not feeling it. Special Forces 3, eh? Let's go these guys, check out the movie posters after. That would be interesting to see what they put. Yeah, that's what I thought. Dregs, coffee go. And deeper. Hmm. The gang. No one knows they how they do it, but soon you will know. Oh no, low on ammo. I'm taking the P90. The vinyl fly trap. It's time to invest. CRB Financial. Banking, for those of you who are living through World War III. Yeah, I don't quite understand. Who am I playing against right now? Are these Russians? Are these terrorists? Are these bad guys? Maybe the states were against Russia, but like, is everyone against Russia? Anyways. Watch for civilians. That's a civilian. Don't shoot that guy. Oh no, oh, ow, oh, that hurts. Oh, poor guy. Oh, nice. what? <laughs> Cheeky bastards. That's <laughs> okay. Got the gun. Use an escalator. That's funny. Oh, there's the Time Magazine cover. Those of you who didn't know, when you pre-order Call of Duty, you got the cover of... Uh, you got a magazine that was double-sided. It's not a magazine. You got a poster that was double-sided. One side there was a cool Modern Warfare 3 kind of standard game logo. The other one was the cover, a mock-up cover of Time Magazine. This was the one that people have hanging up in their basements and stuff. It's uh, pretty cool. Actually, the double-sided poster is really big. Uh, one of the better pre-order bonuses I've ever gotten. And it's considering it's a Call of Duty game, and it's kind of, you know, one of the few games that people actually go out of their way to pre uh, to uh, pre-order. Sweetens the deal even more. This is gonna end badly, unless I put out, down a lot of bullets. Should we kill them? What are they going to do with them? All the cops are all here. Right, the lorry's down. We're secure. What's the status on the others? Base 
plate, come in. Base plate, where are the trucks? Huh? Huh, the Davis family vacation. London, day three. Oh. Uh. And we're off to Sarah. Tell Daddy where we're going. Trying to Big Ben. That's right, Big Ben. Oh, there it is, sweetie. It's right there. Honey, are you kidding this? That's pretty sweet. Daddy, look over here. <laughs> look at me, Daddy. She's really hyper today. Sarah, don't go too far. Birds. Look, mommy, there's birds. Oh shit! <laughs> 